I knew right from wrong. I always have. Even as a young boy, I knew what I should and what I should not do. Some would call my crime a moment of stupidity. That's true. It, it was a moment. But it was really a lifetime of temptation that led me to it. I got caught. And now I will pay with my life. I deserve it. But it still scares me. It scares me to death. And now... I'm attached to a Roman cross. I've seen what happens to men on these crosses. Some of the criminals are tied by rope to the wood like I am. Some are nailed with spikes through the flesh of their wrists and their feet. The pain looks excruciating. But it isn't the spikes that kill, it's the drowning. No, the punishment doesn't happen underwater, but the effects of hanging on this crucifix are just as bad, if not worse. After an hour or so, with the gravity pulling you down, every ounce of energy is devoted to taking just another breath and the breaths become shallower and shallower, less air with, we, with each inhale. That's how the cross kills. Between the, the pain and the grasping for air, there's time to think. As your life fades, your mind says, what if? What if I had kept different company? What if I had spent time reading scripture instead of stealing? I have no pride, and soon I will have no life. But I'm not alone. The, the man next to me, he hasn't even wept. He hasn't complained about what's happening to him. It's almost like He's expected this all his life. But he doesn't, he doesn't look like me, and he doesn't look like the man on the other side of him either. The man in the middle seems to be resolved about all of this. I, I, I can hear the crowd. I can hear the crowd talking about him. Some are, are weeping, and some seem to be celebrating the fact that he's up there dying like me. They call him Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. I guess what they say is right. Can anything good come from Nazareth? The crowd talks about his power to heal and his power to cast demons from the possessed. Is that why he's up there? Because he helped people? The man on the other side, well, he just won't shut up. He keeps yelling at Jesus, Hey, Jesus, you who save others, save yourself. That man is using his last breaths to taunt Jesus. Is that really the way he wants to finish? Does he want his last words to be words of pain and death to a man some are saying is innocent? I told him to shut up. Leave him alone. Don't you fear God at all? We deserve to die. But what has this man done? He didn't even resist his journey up on this hill. He didn't, he didn't fight. He didn't even wince. What kind of man is this? Wait. Wait, what, what was that? What, what did Jesus say? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgive them? Is he talking to God? Could, could Jesus forgive me? 
Is there hope for me? Jesus, will you remember me when you come into your kingdom? Then he answered. He answered me. He said, today you shall be with me in paradise. Me, with him. Does this mean I will live after today in paradise? I believe him. Something tells me this is true. He will save me from this cross. He will save me from my death. This day of darkness, this day I'm going to die, has turned into a day of light, a day of life. Why me? Why would you want to save me? When all I've done is believe Him. Thank you, Jesus, 